Hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today's video is on a Harbor Freight find that I think you guys should definitely look and do and purchase uh, some of this stuff here I'm going to show you. Um, this is like a Harbor Freight um, must have, I guess you want to call it. Um, there's some things you got to pick through at Harbor Freight, but I feel as though this stuff right here is pretty, um, pretty, pretty cheap for for what it is uh, cost wise, and um, to have spare things like this on hand um, for the amount of money you're going to pay for this stuff, I think it's a good investment for storing stuff that you may break on, uh, while doing repairs. Um, uh, well, we'll start right here with these first uh, first um, assortment of pieces. This is a 120 piece roll pin assortment. Now, roll pins are um, are used in different type of uh, applications. Where, say, like a uh, an axle shaft on a um, a lawnmower might have these at the end underneath a um, a dust cap with a grease fitting or something like that for the bearing. These might be uh, pushed in at the end of the axle to hold in the, uh, the wheel. So, and you have quite a bit of different sizes for uh, the roll pin, any type of roll pin situation. Long, short, skinny, um, you know, this, right here just off the top, there's uh, four pieces of one and sixteenths by three sixteenths and so on and so forth. There's plenty, plenty of this uh, roll pin, 120 piece roll pin set. Um, up top here, and, and all of these, um, all of these containers roughly run from anywhere from five ninety nine to about, I think, uh, about maybe twelve bucks is the highest. And actually, I think the most expensive one was right here, this eighty piece copper washer assortment set. Um, and you would think, well, what do I need copper washers for? Well, if anyone's done breaks and uh, break calipers for that matter and they disassembled the soft line that goes to the uh, caliper itself well in between the banjo bolt and the caliper and the line there's two copper washers on either end and what copper does for a washer is when you tighten down on your banjo bolt that goes into the caliper um, it actually creates a seal by um, sealing it with the copper um, or the copper washer so these do come in handy in case say you buy a new brake line and they don't come with copper washers. This is a really uh, good kit to uh, have. I have not opened it yet, but I'm sure one day down the road I'll use it. Um, so yeah, the copper washer little piece. I think that was the most extensive one because it is copper. Um, all right, so we get the roll pin and then your cotter pin. Cotter pins, they're used for everything. I have already opened up this and used a few out of here. Cotter pins are used from anywhere from um, uh, ball, uh, ball joints, bottom of ball joints, bottom of pitman arms, idler arms, anything that has a castle nut. And a castle nut, I don't have one on hand, but basically it's like a nylon nut, or any nut for that matter, and it actually looks like a crown of a, of a castle. It kind of looks like fingers like this, and in between each groove, um, there is a, a place where you can slide the, um, the cotter pin through. Well, let me go look if I have a have a um, uh, one of those castle nuts. I don't think I do. Sometimes I hold on to that stuff. Sometimes I don't. Uh, sorry guys, I don't have I don't have a castle nut to show you what one is. But if you look it up online, you'll know what I'm talking about. So all right, the Cotter pin assortment set. Hundred. That's five hundred and fifty-five piece. That's that's a. I'll never need to buy a copper pin a Cotter pin ever again. They have plenty, 555 piece, that's nuts. Um, aluminum rivets, it's nice to have aluminum rivets, steel rivets as well, so say if you're doing work on an aluminum boat and you need to replace some rivets that may be leaking or, or gone, um, rivets always come in handy for doing diamond plate work um, or any type of aluminum work. Well, you can put steel together with them, but the steel rivets are a little bit more durable, but 100 piece aluminum rivet set, that's a nice little thing to have. Um, internal snap rings. If you ever done wheel bearings on a trailer, you know um, most wheel bearings and races, or I should say bearings, 
um, come with uh, a retainer and the retainer is usually a snap ring so and sometimes uh, when you get the old snap rings you get your snap ring pliers in the snap ring and um, once you get the pliers on it and stretch it one way sometimes it doesn't want to go back but snap rings are used on whale bearings they're used on universal joints on your drive shaft if you're replacing universals um, snap rings um, you can lose one you can break one it can snap um, so that's a good little kit to have that's a 300 piece snap on uh, snap on snap ring set it's good to have up here leaning I didn't have enough room on my side bench here that's an e-clip assortment now e-clips are similar to snap rings but they're used on um, um, all right, so if you have a soft brake line that's on a, on a, uh, a fixed mounting bracket on your frame or your A-arm, sometimes E-clips will be there because you'll have uh, indentation on the uh, brake line and then you'll have um, a place where that will fit to secure that to um, the mounting point, uh, E-clips. Uh, sometimes they're used, um, where can I else I can think of E-clips? Um, they're used on, on, on different applications, mostly on brakes and um, uh, hoses or, or brake lines for that matter. Uh, that's a cool little set here I picked up after. After I bought most of these sets, I picked up this grommet assortment set, 180 piece grommet set. Now grommets are good and uh, I've, I've already opened up and used one of these. Um, recently, if you guys look back, I uh, purchased a plow. So I, I did all my wiring and um, I had to put the... The wiring for the um, the joystick for the plow through the firewall, and a lot of guys just drill a hole, run their lines through it, and don't really protect the outside of the wiring because sometimes it comes with a, um, a wire protector or you know wire loom. But um, the the right way to do it is to put a grommet, and that's what I used um, on my firewalls: a grommet, drilled the hole a little bit bigger, slid it right in there, and I put my wires through. Nice tight fit, looks professional. And uh, you never have to worry about your wires ever uh, chafing and then arcing out and causing a ground and then blowing all sorts of fuses. So a grommet kit, that's a 180 piece grommet kit, definitely good to have. And then um, nylon lock nuts, 150 piece nylon nut lo uh, lock nut assortment. So basically nylon nuts, uh, they're like a, a lock nut. They kind of replace um, a lock washer in a sense. Um, you don't have to put a lock uh, washer because there's nylon inside the uh, inside the nut. Let me open this up because I've already used this one. There's there's actually plastic. If you can see, there is plastic inside the nut, so it it kind of like cinches down and it makes this where it's extremely hard to back off. Um, it's kind of good. It's almost like thread lock, like you would use like blue Loctite. It's almost kind of like that in a way. Um, so they're coming real handy. That's 150 piece. So all these sets right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. I probably spent about 30 bucks. Honestly, $30 on all that to have that, that's gonna last a lifetime for me. Um, that's a good buy as far as I'm concerned in Harbor Freight. That's a definite A plus rating for me. Um, this is, uh, Dan making YouTube channel. I uh, appreciate you watching my video. If you guys like this video, give it a like, um, rate, subscribe, and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.